One of the most sought after use cases of Generative AI is transcription. Generative AI has made transcription a breeze, and especially the tool which I'm going to show you today has really taken it to another level of simplicity and usability. That tool is named aptly as Transcribe. This tool has been created by Vivek Opal and on your screen, you can see the GitHub repo of this awesome tool. Transcribe is not only a very modern tool which enables you to do transcription using Gen AI on your own local laptop without any GPU, but the quality of its output is simply matchless. Transcribe is OpenAI's ChatGPT based real time transcription, conversation, and language learning platform. It provides live transcripts from microphone and speaker. It generates a suggested conversation response using OpenAI's ChatGPT API. It will read out the responses simulating a real life conversation in English or also in another language. Okay, so now you know what Transcribe is. Let me show you how you can install it locally on your local laptop. If you have GPU, that's awesome because then it will improve the performance. But if you don't have any GPU, then that is fine. You, you can still use it on your CPU on your laptop. So I'll be using my own laptop, which doesn't have any GPU. And all I am using is Python environment. So there are few prerequisites which you need to meet. First and foremost, you need to have Python installed. I would suggest that if you install Python 3.11 or 3.10, that would be awesome. 3.11 is preferred. You should have pip installed and you should have a virtual ENV installed because that will keep your all the installed packages separate and clean. So once you have these three installed, then make sure that you have FFM pack installed. Now, if you don't know what FFmpeg is, FFmpeg is a free and open source software project which consists of a suite of libraries and programs for handling video, audio, and other multimedia files and streams. It makes processing of video and audio files very easy. Now, in order to install FFmpeg, you can use Chocolaty on Windows. Chocolaty is a software management tool which you can use to easily install and maintain software or applications on your Windows system. Now, let me show you two quick commands from the same GitHub, group, GitHub repo of Transcribe, which shows you how you can install Chocolaty and FFmpeg. So there are only two commands needed. First, make sure that you have PowerShell on your system, which is which comes by default. So open your PowerShell and then right click on it and just say run as administrator once a powershell is opened as administrator then run this command which is going to install the chocolatey and this is from the same github repo in steps to install ffmpeg on your system and i'll drop the link in video's description once chocolate is installed with this command simply go ahead and install ffmpeg and that's all there is to it you have installed chocolatey and you have installed uh, FFmpeg. I already installed it. As you can see on my screen, the install of FFmpeg was successful. And I only used these two commands in order to get it installed. Cool. Now we have all of our prerequisites done. In the next step, let's go back to that GitHub repo and scroll above. The next step is to download this GitHub repo to your local Windows laptop. So click here on the code and either you can use git clone or you can simply go ahead and download zip file and then extract it in any folder on your local laptop once that's done open your command prompt and then go to that directory where you have cloned it let me go there So this is my command prompt or my shell in my Windows laptop. So, and if you don't know how to access it, go to your search bar in the bottom, just type CMD and then open this and then go to this transcribed main, which is a GitHub repo, which you have just downloaded. Okay. Now, the next thing you need to do is to go back to the folder where you have uh, downloaded that GitHub repo 
and I'll also take you back to the GitHub repo just to show you one thing. So once you are in this GitHub repo, scroll up, go to app and transcribe directory on your local system and then open this override.yaml file. And in this file, all you need to do is to put in your OpenAI API key. And in order to do that, I'll show you from the repo. All you need to do is to just paste this command, this line here and replace this API key with your own OpenAI API key. And then save that override.yaml file on your local system. And then your key is set. I already have done it to save time. Let me go back. And as I mentioned earlier, you need to have Python, pip, and virtual environment installed. Let me show you my virtual environments version. So pip show virtual env. Let's wait. So it, I have the latest one, 20.25.0. So you make sure that you also have it installed on your system. Now let's create a virtual environment. I'll just say virtual env and env here. It will create a virtual environment that is done. And now we need to activate it. So activate means that in the same env directory, you just need to go to scripts and activate and press enter. And you can see that in parentheses that my virtual environment is activated. Let me clear my screen. Okay. Now, once that's done, you need to install all the requirements. So pip um, install dash r and all the requirements dot t3. But before that, I would need to go to this directory, cd app, cd transcribe, and now ls. And here we need to say pip install dash, dash r and requirement.txt. Press enter. And then it is going to install all the requirements for this project into this virtual environment cleanly. And this installs a lot of step, a lot of packages like OpenAI, Torch, Installer, and uh, TikTok and a lot of stuff. So make sure you have a bit of a space there. It's not that heavy, but still. So let's wait for it to finish. And this is one thing I like about this project is that you don't have to do this thing manually and check for everything. All you need to do is to install Python, pip, virtual environment, ffmpeg. Once that's done, just get clone this repo and run this requirement.txt from app transcribe directory after setting your OpenAI key and that's about it. So let's wait for it to finish. As you can see that this has been installed. Now, in order to run it, all you need to do is to do python main.py, but um, so just type python and main.py and press enter. And this is going to, and as you can see, it has already uh, downloaded all that was needed. And now it is adjusting for our noise and stuff. And it has already detected my mic uh, microphone and speaker. I'm using this one. And this takes a bit of a time, first time, to get adjust to the noise from default speaker or from whatever speaker you are using which in my case is Plantronics Voyager. So let's wait. And then shortly it is going to open uh, the GUI of this tool in another window. It takes a bit of a time first time, so let's wait. So transcribe has started after adjusting for ambient noise and other stuff. And you can ignore this warning title, not a git repository for now. Once that's done, uh, it will open a GUI like this in a separate window. And in order to start it, um, I already have started speaking as you can see. Now, first thing you need to do if you want, you can um, enable the LLM responses which are disabled by default. So just click on suggest responses continuously. And then on the right hand side, the LLM or large language model is going to suggest the responses of whatever you are speaking on the left hand side. Also, let's adjust it to six seconds as per 
uh, Webex recommendation. Otherwise, LLM gives responses way too often and they disappear before we can even read them. So that's done. And because I'm using CPU, so it takes a bit of a time for it to adjust and start printing out whatever I'm saying on the left hand side. So let's wait for it to start printing the responses here. Let me also show you this one on the right uh, on the terminal window what is happening. So it is still read, uh, running and ready. And as I said, it is CPU, so it takes a bit of a time to print it out. TVI models, LLMs, and you have heard about these terms. Even then, I'm sure that this course is going to help you out. Amazon Bedrock is a generative AI service from AWS. AWS is a cloud provider, and as you might know, AWS is world's leading cloud provider as it provides a lot of managed services where you can pay and you can use those services as you would do on rent. Amazon Bedrock is such a service on rent through which you can do generative AI. Let me explain further. Normally what happens is that whenever you are using these artificial intelligence models, then you need to do a lot of things. When we say artificial intelligence models or the so you can see that this was my own voice. I was just uh, talking about Amazon Bedrock service from AWS and it was able to do it. And now you have stopped it. So it's not printing anymore. And on the right hand side, LLM was responding to it. Another cool thing about this uh, tool is that it's not confined to English. If you click on this drop down, there are heaps of languages here, which you can, uh, if I click on this downward arrow, you can see that there are like all the languages many of them i haven't uh, even heard of them like urdu and stuff and then you can also transcribe github repo and there are a lot of other things which you can do with it um, now let me also show you uh, one more thing which you can do in order to you know uh, if you like this go to their github repo and i would highly suggest that you uh, give this repo some stars and also give good feedback about it because I think I believe that this is one of the best projects out there and a lot of hard work has been done on this as you can already see and just by uh, you know using your own CPU your own local laptop you can do this transcription using this AI tool so this is it guys I hope you enjoyed it and one more thing i have created this video in cpu in the next video i'll be using the same tool on gpu in a cloud on more than likely in aws by using some g4dn instances to show you the speed of it but all in all very impressed by the tool and if you are stuck somewhere uh, let me know and i'll be happy to help out and uh, also i'm going to do an interview with this with the creator of this tool vivek very soon and then please so please stay tuned and if you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you very much.